Hey, the amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! <laughs> What's up, rascals? Welcome to the living room. Now, this is actually not a game. This is a story by, um... Not sure how to pronounce his name, and I'm not sure if I want to. Henry! Now, this just came out, like, a couple days ago, so, uh... No real idea what the story is going to be about, other than the fact that it's supposed to be chilling and thrilling and some other kind of ing that I'm not sure about. But, uh, anyway, before I just start rambling on and not even getting into the game slash story, let's just go ahead and get into it. Your name. It, oh, it's going to be one of those personalized stories. Oh, fun. Screw it. It's not a secret. That's my name. Night. Yes. Yes. What? What? Nate, what? You need to do something. Something about what? The body. What body? The body in the living room. Your mom's body. What are you talking about? You don't remember. You killed her, Nate. <gasps> I'm a bad man. I, I refuse to believe this. You've been sitting in your room for four hours since it happened. It smells. You finally become aware of the stench coming up from outside your room. You can taste the iron in the air. I couldn't have killed her. I don't kill people. Nate, she was drunk. She wanted to leave to go buy more alcohol. You wouldn't let her. Your back was against the cold, metal front door. She grabbed you by the shoulders, shaking you, and your head slammed against the door. Wouldn't that give you a concussion if she was... You were dazed for a minute. While she continued trying to pull you away, you used all your strength to shove her away from you. How strong is my mother? She drunkenly stumbled backwards, her feet pounding on the floor. Time seemed to pause as she teetered on her heels. She finally fell backwards, arms flailing. The back of her skull crashed against the corner of the thick metal coffee tip. Why is there so much metal in the house? And also, it sounds like an accidental death. Not me killing her. That's... You're just making shove. Who are you anyway? That was when you went back into your room. It was over, Nate. You didn't stay to see the pool of blood slowly envelop your living room. You didn't stay to see the life leave her body. Why should I have? Who's to say? I'm only reminding you what happened. What do you want to do now? That's the only option, so I may as well. As soon as you open, you open your bedroom door. Okay. Typo. As soon as you open your bedroom door, the smell hits you even stronger than the stench of blood and death fills the room and your lungs. Why would the smell fill my lungs? I was like, did I really take a deep breath of death? You turn a corner into the living room, and there she is. Your mom sprawled out on the floor in such a manner that she seemed ready to be crucified. Collapsed in a pool of her own blood, the pool was still expanding. Four hours later, still engulfing more and more of the floor. You lose yourself in the blood's sheen reflection. You stare into the pool of blood, seeing your own reflection, seeing all that was and will be. Your attention is pulled away. Well, that is some powerful stuff. Is this blood or LSD? Your attention is pulled away by a knock at the door. You walk over to the door, leaving the bloody footprints in your wake. You open the door and let your mom inside. She walks in, carrying bags with bottles of wine and vodka. She walks into her bedroom through the perfectly clean living room, locking the door behind her without saying a word. So was I just imagining all this? Is this a tale of schizophrenia? You sit down in your desk chair. You exhale. 
it's never over. Is it not? Okay, so, um... What? The main character, or since it was personalized, me, I apparently have a very vivid imagination and uh, a dark and disturbing fantasy that I play in my head every once in a while. Either that, or I'm just hearing voices and they're messing with my head. I don't know. It's 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 one of the two options. It's either schizophrenia or vividly envisioning a dark fantasy. Whichever one it is, who can say? Definitely something to debate. So let me know in the comments what you think the story's about. One of you guys might have an idea about this story that never crossed my mind and could turn the whole thing on its head. Anyway, guys, I know this video's short. I'm sorry, I'm still trying to gear up for the live stream this weekend. But I definitely wanted to get a video up for you guys. And this story just came out recently on Itch, so uh, I wanted to share it with you. And I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out. Anyway, rascals, I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze. Funky butts.